brand new reports on Spider-Man 4 have surfaced that are making it sound like Spider-Man 4 is coming in hot to a shoot this fall. And by all accounts, whatever director signs on, he's going to have very little say. Most films in Hollywood, if they're not written by the man who's directing it, go through a simple process. The writer hands in a script. If the studio likes it, they will pay him, and then they might evolve that script with other writers or keep him at on other writers, and then, depending on who the director is, that director might change up the project even more. Many times, the original intended script is a far cry from what we got. If you want a prime example of this, go look at Alien Resurrection. I don't know why that one's on my mind right now, but look that up and the original pitch, the original writers, and then what we ended up getting. Completely different films. The reason I had to take like a minute to explain that to you is because by all accounts, and we're hearing a lot of rumors and a lot of buzz in the industry right now, and that's that Spider-Man 4 will start shooting no later than September this year. And that's because they're trying to figure out when exactly in 2025 they want the release date, and if they can start in September, they might be able to put the film out for a summer of 25. If they start later, well, winter of 25 to maybe early 26 might be optimal. But again, the reason why this is important is because they've been working on the script for a while. And what we're hearing is that if push comes to shove, whatever director signs on, they're going to have minimal input of their own. And they're essentially being hired as a point-and-shoot man to just finish this project, to get it going, and you don't get too much of your own say. Now, in some cases, this can be a good thing. In some cases, it's a bad thing. For a project like Spider-Man, where you got talented writers that they've already said are working on it and cracking away at it, I can see how, if none of the former directors return or veteran MCU or Spider-Man directors, how they might pluck somebody else out of obscurity like they did John Watts and go, hey, direct this first one the way we want you to, to a T, add in a little bit of your own style, but don't deviate too much. If you do this, the follow-ups can be what you want. I could see why this is a thing, but it is a little worrisome that this thing is going to come in so hot without a director able to do too much of their own thing. But as I said, this is a known commodity and what they want to do, and some director is going to take it just by the sheer fact that they want their name out there, just like John Watts. So we'll see what happens. We'll keep an eye on it, obviously, but I'm not too worried about this just yet. <laughs>